Hi everyone, I'm in Waneha. Um, I'm the only one at the albergue right now. It's after six o'clock, so I don't know if anyone else will um, come through, but there's always items that people leave. <laughs> I don't know if they forget them, like clothes hanging on the dryer, I mean on the uh, drying line, or uh, bottles of water. There's even a water bladder in the refrigerator, I think, that someone left. Uh, it has a bit of water in it. Um, but right now I'm the only one, and this albergue is um, Donativo, of course. It's a little run down. It's not as nice as the last two that I, that I stayed at, but uh, because of the Donativo and the efforts of the association, um, I appreciate it. And my feet were tired. They're hurting. It's a good place to, to land. Um, so, you know, um, take my shower. When I get back, I'm going to the pharmacy to get a few items for my feet, some gauze and maybe an antiseptic spray, um, and just find out if there's any other recommendations that uh, I can get from the pharmacy. I walked 20 kilometers today, which is about six miles, a little bit, I mean, not six, 12, I always do that. It's six times two. Uh, miles and uh, I felt it uh, walking on a whole riverbed with huge rocks and uh, a lot of circuitous uh, <laughs> interesting moments but I made it and I and I told myself that I would make it uh, the climb this time was steadily upward so we're at the top of the particular grading for this one at uh, at uh, Huanaka Huanaha we're not ha. And um, it's a nice uh, area, which is uh, interesting. Uh, there are some nice enclaves around the town that I could see just by my walking. Of course, I'm not driving. And the albergue seems to be close to schools, and a lot of the students seem to be Muslim. As a matter of fact, I spoke to a lady who kind of walked me up because the school that she was picking her daughter up from was next door. And uh, we spoke uh, as much as we could. Her name is Fatima. And uh, I think she was telling me that, uh, she, that she had a soup kitchen or her friend had a soup kitchen. But of course, everything around here closes um, until about five. So from maybe from two to five, two to four, three to five. And I tried, I'm going to try to find it. Uh, while I'm out now, of course, uh, I'm thinking it may even be a soup type kitchen dining thing that she does out of her home. I wish I had um, gotten more information from her, but uh, you know, she was nice and we shook hands afterwards. But uh, I'll see because my feet are killing me, but I'm going to go out anyway and see if the sun helps with the sandals and one pair of socks to cover my shame, of course. And when I get back, I'm gonna take my shower and, um, and uh, dress my feet. Now, it's been really cold in the, in the mornings and, the, and uh, coming from the evening, so I have a little heater that I had on my room last night, and that helped a lot. So today, I'm going to put the heater on um, and leave, since we have tile floors, and there's not much that the heaters can touch, and both kinds of heaters that they that I've seen I've, I've operated many times before um, so that will help uh, once I take my shower because it'll be a little warm it's not like they're putting out a bunch of heat because uh, you know these units or all these places are just not built for cold as we well know so that's that's all there is to that um, so hopefully I can enjoy this uh, little place here by myself and do my feet, wrap them up, and get ready to get out tomorrow. So that's all I have today. Bye.